hello guys welcome to Gigametrics. I'm going to be looking at testing for multicollinearity using e-views one of the assumptions of the linear regression model is that the values of the independent variables must not all be the same multicollinearity occurs when two or more independent variables in the regression model are highly correlated with each other if left unchecked whatever conclusions we draw or inferences we make may be very misleading the variance inflection factors detect the presence of multicollinearity in a model and the procedures and e-views is first of all to double click on the equation and let's see we click view we scroll to coefficient diagnostics we select variance inflection factors then we press ok if our variance inflection factor is greater than 10 we have high that's an indication of high multicollinearity if our variance inflation factors is greater than or equals to 5 and less than 10 in other words between 5 and 10 then we have moderate multicollinearity if our variance inflation factor is less than 5 then we have low multicollinearity okay so we now go to our e-views um, package to demonstrate that you now go to this parsimonious is here we click that we click view we go to coefficient diagnostics we scroll down to variance inflation factors now this is our variance inflation factors this is our variance inflation factors let us have an expanded view of it have an expanded view of it okay now this is the, the result the centered vif we have between 2.336513 down to 1.09 also have for the centered vif this uh, on this column now when we if you observe they are all less than five they are all less than five now what is the possible interpretation of this now um, we all know that centered vif measures multicollinearity why accounting for intercepts why the uncentered vif measures multicollinearity without accounting for intercept but the model we just uh, uh, checked for multicollinearity shows that both the centered vif and uncentered vif are less than five which signifies low multicollinearity hence we report that there is no presence of multicollinearity in the regression model thank you very much please like and subscribe to the channel